We caught up with Pedder in the summer of 2017, prior to the prestigious FEI European Championships that were about to take place in Gothenburg and would become a career-defining championships for the Swede. But to represent the country is always, I think, the biggest thing. And to win individual is fantastic, but to win a team competition is almost even a greater feeling because then you win it together, and you win it, share joys, is, is great. I think the European Championship in Gothenburg is going to be a really big thing for Swedish show jumping. You have pressure both from yourself and these high expectations from others, but that's what we want, that's why we do it. It's a, it's a great feeling to have that pressure on you. You just have to make sure you can handle it. And, uh, but I like it. The championships took place over five jumping rounds. Fredriksson arrived at the Ulivi Stadium as part of the team selected by chef de keep Henrik Anker Kroner. He was joined by Henrik von Eckermann, Marlin Bayard Jonsson and Douglas Lindelow. Sweden had never won the team gold at the European Championships before and only once had a Swedish rider taken individual honours back in 2011 when Rolf Goran Bengtsson took gold in Madrid. First up was the speed class. A foot perfect round from Pedder saw him go to the top of the individual standings and with solid performances coming from the rest of the team, Sweden lay in third place heading into round two of the team competition. The Swedish team would maintain their momentum. Another beautifully navigated clear from Pedder and H&M all in would keep the pressure on Switzerland. And when Steve Gerdat had one rail down, the Swedes moved in to pole position. Round three would be a different story. Henrik von Eckermann went clear, but with a time fault. Marlin Bayard Jonsson retired, meaning that the nine penalties that Douglas Lindelow incurred had to be counted. When Pedder Fredriksson entered the arena, Sweden were lying in second place. The pressure was on Fredriksson to go clear, as penalties would have seen them drop into the bronze medal position or off of the podium entirely. And of course, this is an unbelievably important moment for Sweden and also for Peter. If he has one down, they slip out of the net. And that's it. They slip it? out below... Below uh, Germany. They're below Belgium at the moment. Yeah. One down. If they've one down, they're... Yeah, one down, they go into fourth. Into fourth place. Breathing and breathing and breathing, dealing with the pressure, keeping himself breathing as he keeps going along. Very obvious to see with him. Keep breathing out. Don't let the tension come into your body. And just let all in do what he does best. Takes an extra stride there. Would have been bad job if he knocked down the Hennessy Horse Jump. He can have one time fault. Oh, he hit that. He can have one time fault to stay in silver. Right. Two, they go into bronze. Right. And, and then Switzerland gets Oh, he's silver. going over the inside shoulder. Come on, all in. Come on, Peter, you've got to jump this one. He does. He's jumped it. And Plenty of time to get yes! it. He's gone through yes! and straight to the roof. Well, what amazing shell jumping this is. Amazing sport! Sweden clinch the silver medal. Switzerland get bronze. 